walk around the compound, we'll see some lions, tigers, beats and squeaks, and leopards, cougars, bobcats, and lynx, and Derek will ramble. Back to you, Derek. Thanks, Joe. Appreciate you. Oh, look at Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh. Let's see. There we go. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Shanti, Naya, just for those keeping track at home. Uh, yeah, Joe's pretty much my intro guy now. <laughs> pretty much my intro guy. Oh, molasses. It seems like seems like someone is feeling vapors. That's what that looked like. Hello, all you big cat lovers out there. It's me, Derek, again. Welcome to another super duper fantastic episode of the Walk Around the Compound webcast. You can hear Destiny. Oh, my gosh. What are you getting chatty about? What? What matter? You two are very chatty. Huh? Huh? Damn it! Just, 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 just. just. Just, just, just. <laughs> oh my gosh, Selena. Selena, <laughs> what are you doing? You are just wacky pants. Is that a grasshopper? Okay. Here we are, week into September. Okay. It's, it was like 100 degrees today. It's going to be 100 degrees again tomorrow. I am done with it. I'm sick of it. Oh, don't get me wrong. Generally speaking, it still stays summery. It still stays summery. Uh, until, you know, sometimes second or third week into September. But, I'm telling you, I'm just, I'm just done like summer we get it we get it you hot <laughs> Cassie me summer's just that guy you know goes to the party Got a, got a Dodge Charger. He's just out there in front of the house. Whoa. You know, like the party's starting to dwindle down. And he's just like, who wants to rub my Charger? And no one raises their hands. <laughs> and he's just like, wah, 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 wah. <laughs> and it's like, summer. It's getting kind of late. It's getting kind of late. Hi, Cassie. Everyone's going home. Hi, baby. Oh, my gosh. Whoa.
don't get me wrong, there's different versions of summer. Summer can be very, very cool. Summer can be a very, very cool guy at the party, but like summer into September is basically just some dude just rocking up. Yeah. I'm just rocking some flat brim hat and, and an affliction shirt. Hitting a jewel. Revan is his Dodge Charger out in front of a dwindling house party at three in the morning in the suburbs. That's that's what summer in September is. And everyone's just like, will this guy just get out of here? Oh, uh, Raven, Raven, there was some controversy. There was controversy on my Instagram account. I, when I was filming, uh, when I was filming a fancy cast, recent fancy cast, Raven was having a, a go at one of her little stuffed bears. Got into a, uh, an argument. And things escalated. Uh, it got physical. And I was able to get some capture, capture, captures of the, of the whole, you know, affair. Posted them on Instagram. It caused quite the to-do. It caused uh, not just a baloo, but also a hulla. In conjunction with each other. Hi, Alex. <laughs> She's over there. Where'd your shoes, where'd your shoes go? I, find I find that hard to believe. Hey, ZZ. Ooh. Basically, I had a, I had to, I had to expose Raven. You know, she has been kind of putting up this uh, sweet, uh, matronly, elderly grandma kind of persona for so many years. Uh, when really she, uh, she's been in this a really disturbing and kind of abusive relationship with her stuffed bear for, you know, quite some time. Just... Had to expose it. There was a lot of comments. A lot of people had things to say. And people were also sharing stories about uh, the, uh, the stuffy abuse that happens in their own homes. Um, I, saw, I saw posts. People using... Like the stop stuffy, because it was a stop stuffy violence hashtag that I'd used. And I saw people posting uh, some of the tragedies that have been happening in their own homes. Uh, and there's both, uh, there was uh, dogs, house meows, you know. Hi. <laughs> and it wasn't relegated to just stuffed bears I saw there were stuffed unicorns uh, stuffed uh, I think there was one like a stuffed centipede so yeah all manner of stuffies can be victims oh and there were people coming out of the woodwork people coming out of the woodwork saying just like wow what did the bear do <laughs> and that got everyone all just bothered like that is that's victim blaming it, it became it became of honestly it became a very fun comment section it was so fun and then yeah thank you to everyone who participated uh thank you to everyone who used the hashtag and then posted some of their own pictures. Uh, I, I enjoyed that. 
very very much so yeah Milo 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 there he is there he is Ooh. keep on they keep on, oh whoa there was a friskiness happening that's what I keep on hearing cats basically just going like badoop, 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 like from one tower to the other and then when the metal goes whoop, whoop, it it makes that more resonant almost sounds like thunder it almost sounds like distant thunder those metal towers cats jumping on and off them Jake 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 hi Ooh. hi mister how are you how are you um. Um. hello 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 Tick 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 tick. Ah, uh, tick 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 tick. Ah, uh, tick 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 tick. Speaking of Jake's that I saw recently, I uh, saw Jake the Snake. In uh, that uh, new movie, Teen Butter Falcon, I think I talked about it in a fancy cast, so I don't think that I'm repeating myself by speaking about it on a webcast. But if you haven't seen, uh, it's again, it's called The Peanut Butter Falcon. Highly recommend. Highly recommend it. It's so good. Brief, brief synopsis. It's, uh, it's about a young man with uh, Down syndrome. Uh, who's living in a nursing home and doesn't have any family to speak of, doesn't want to live in the nursing home, doesn't feel like he needs to live in the nursing home, so he escapes. And then he meets up with uh, Shia LaBeouf, who is a fisherman who has run afoul with the law. So basically you have like two, two people who meet up through like a random chance encounter circumstance kind of thing and then they're both kind of outlaws and it becomes like a it becomes a mark twain uh road adventure kind of americana thing it's beautiful and it was hilarious i mean legitimately just stomach hurtingly uh funny at times and uh yeah, there's different stuff with uh, pro wrestlers in it, and one of them was because <laughs> watching, and I'm just like, I think that's Jake the Snake. <laughs> it was. I'm like, yes, it's amazing. Oh man, I was uh, big. Oh, loved, loved me some of that. Their pro wrestling. I was. Pretty consistent uh, watcher of the WWF at the time. Of course, WWE now. From, I would say, maybe like 1991 to uh, 1999, maybe 2000. Something like that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so pretty much all through the 90s, I was uh, a very frequent and regular watcher of, uh, of the old pro wrestling. Loved it. Loved it. I think my first, I would say that my first favorite pro wrestler uh, was Warrior. I was a big Ultimate Warrior fan. I was, oh man. <laughs> <laughs> me uh playing with my friends in the neighborhood and just like sprinting and just like j running yeah because it's the thing he was all 
he just he was a he was a madman. He was a mad warrior man. He'd run around, sprint down uh, to the ring, jump up onto the turnbuckles, and you know do a, ah, the hands in the air and yeah. Big fan. I was a big fan of Lex Luger. It's like again as a kid, little kid. As I became older and my tastes became more refined. Uh, huge fan of uh, The Undertaker. Love The Undertaker. Love The Undertaker. Of course, of course, going into the Attitude Era because that's the, that was the capstone. That's the capstone. Because I was at like the tail end of, you know, of course, like the Hulk Hogan. Well, not, I wouldn't say the tail end, but... I mean, the 80s were definitely a big heyday time for kind of like the Hulk Hogan kind of macho man. Mach macho man! Kind of era. And, uh... I guess, yeah, the, the capstone for my wrestling fanhood was the WWF Attitude Era. Which, you know, that's when Degeneration X was out there. That's when The Rock, Dwayne The Rock Johnson, was doing his thing. Mankind? Are you kidding me? Mankind. And of course, of course, when you hear the glass, it's Vince's took us. Stone Cold Steve Austin, are you you can't talk about the Attitude Era without talking about the Texas Rattlesnake. Are you kidding me? <laughs> yeah, but I did. I I really did. I uh, and after the Attitude, because they they you know they're a smart company, Vince McMahon. Oh my God, smart company. So they're they're all about sports entertainment. It's sports entertainment. You know the wrestling fact. Yeah, no kidding. I mean, but then again. You see, like, the movie The Wrestler, I mean, these guys, they really, you know, they, uh, they put themselves through all sorts of hurt and pain, uh, to, to do what they do. Quote, sports entertainment. I have a lot of respect for pro wrestlers. I really do. Um, just because they have to have, like, a wide variety of diverse skills and, uh, skill sets. Uh, both athletic and theatric. I think that there's something to be said that I think is just very appealing to that. And I mean, if you're good, then you're, yeah, you're able to wield a lot of different kind of, kind of things. I don't know. I'm trying to make sense here. Win the crowd and you win your freedom. I wasn't the best because I pinned quickly, Maximus. I was the best, I was the best because the crowd loved me. Where's Kevin? Where's Kevin? Where's Kevin? <gasps> Bobby! Bobby! Bobby, 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 Bobby. And I think after the, uh, you know, after the <laughs> little tail, little tail. After the Attitude Era kind of uh, phased out, I guess, because they, they got really crazy. They got super crazy. In that period, like the late '90s for pro wrestling, was insane. But it was awesome. It was so, it was so great. I loved it so much, so much. And that, that's yeah, the late '90s. That was, uh, that was my like middle school going into high school years. So prime age, prime age to just be super appreciative of like over the top. Uh, uh, just obscene uh, inappropriateness, absolutely. Where I'm just like watching, and I'm just like, ah, I'm like swirling around. Mm, yes, yes. <laughs> oh. My 13 year old self. Uh. I can't remember what Super Bowl it was, but I ran to another TV in the house so I could watch the Mankind 
a rock hardcore match in the empty arena that was happening during the Super Bowl. Yeah. Oh, jeez. <laughs> so good. Great memories. What is going on with your foot? You got something going on. She's she's got something going on where it's it's just bugging her. I think she's got something like in between, and it's not even like it doesn't look like she's injured. It looks like she's got something kind of like stuck between her toes, and then she's just like, Wah! <laughs> get out of my toes. She's just like really annoyed by whatever is betwixt her toes. I'm gonna try to look around for Kevin. Hold on. There he is, sitting around looking for him. Like, where the heck is he? At least he's not pacing around. Now he's just being kind of like antisocial. It's good. The, the different phases of kitty cat sometimes having to come here. Hi. Hello. Hello. Hello, sweetheart. Oh my god, let's watch Erin do some, like, she's gonna feed and do stuff. Here she goes. Nice. Nice. What did Max get for dinner? Got horse chunk and some Zupreme. Oh my gosh, horse chunks and Zupreme? That's amazing. Are you happy? Bobby. Bubby, your dinner. She doesn't seem to care. She's not hungry yet. She will be. She will be. I think that you're... I, I appreciate your efforts. Thank you very much about... She just doesn't want an audience. No, I guess not. She's like, no, 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 don't watch me eating. Please, please. It's interesting, he actually seems to be like super kind of preoccupied. Too preoccupied to be pissed off at me. That's okay, I don't mind that. Look at these three boys. Three boys in a row. Very cute, very, very cute. Very cute. All right, what time is it? I can't try to pull. 7.20, oh crap. I gotta go. <laughs> I've got a live stream. Uh, I got a live stream that I have to do for the uh, extra fancy folks on my Patreon channel. Um, so yeah, yeah. Posted about that earlier. Said that I was gonna do a live stream at 7:30. It is 7:28. So I gotta get going. Gotta get going. Anyway, thanks for watching this episode of the Walk Around the Compound webcast. Hashtag Dorbist Award in the comment section below. Like and subscribe for all your big cat goodness. Don't forget. You can always check out more information about the facility around me if you go to the website carerescuetexas.com. And I'll see you on Thursday. All right. Bye-bye.